Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missy Knows Lego Robotics. Today I have a super satisfying conveyor belt. I've always been fascinated by conveyor belts, just watching things go by. And today I have it for you. So if you want to see it, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. And if you're looking for Mr. Hino Lego Robotics merch, just check below this video from my merch shelf. Awesome stuff. Love for you to help me out, but do what you can. Okay, so let's get into today's video. I have a super cool conveyor belt. It's just satisfying. It's kind of like that useless machine. Check this out. where you can just watch it over and over again. So today I have a conveyor belt. If it looks familiar to you, it is the color sorter that I've done before. Let me show you real quick. So what I did is I basically just built the chassis for it. I disregarded the robot arm, like the sorter part. I disregarded, you know, the touch sensor, I believe it was. So I just wanted a conveyor belt that would just move things up the conveyor belt into another container. So it's super awesome. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Okay, everybody, so there it is. So again, I took the color sorter chassis and basically just built that and then I elevated this part so it would go up the conveyor belt and just flip over into a container. If this looks familiar, this is the same kind of contraption I built for the marble run. Basically to slide down these gears onto the conveyor belt and then it would just take it up the conveyor belt and flip it off the end. So there was just some modifications I had to make to that color sorter just um, putting up some of these side panels because the color sort of didn't have these side panels. I just didn't want these guys falling off the edge. If you look carefully, there is a possibility it could get stuck there. So I just upped the motor to give these gray gears less of a chance of getting stuck in there. So I just have it going at 50% motor speed just so that it goes quicker and these guys just, like I said, don't have a chance to fall down. So let me take you around over here. So basically the color sorter ended right here and I just had to elevate it to get it off the table here. And then the one part that you guys might have an issue with are these parts right here. I could only go to these expansion pieces. These are actually tank track for like the tank bot. If you put anything else bigger than this, it will get stuck right in here. It gets real tight right there. So when it goes around and back, these um, are perfect. They fit fine, but if you go any farther than this, it won't make it. So, you know, I had to figure out something that will just carry the gears along. If I took these out, you know, these would just, the gears are just plastic and they would slide all the way back down. So these do a great job of holding on to that gear and taking them up the conveyor belt. So let's go ahead and start the program and let you guys watch this in action.
And what would happen if I bumped the motor speed up to 100? Hmm. Okay guys, so there you have it. The conveyor belt, so satisfying. It was, again, a modified color sorter. I, it's just one of those things where you, you ever have those projects you just hate to take apart? You guys know I still have my motorcycle still put together. So it's just one of those things where it's just, ah. Uh, I mean, I would love to use the pieces for other things, but you just hate to take something like this apart. So hopefully you enjoyed the conveyor belt. It's something that you can do. It's just It just took one large motor, didn't even use any sensors. It's just satisfying to watch it go. So if you can build it, awesome. Again, I'll leave you the instructions for the color sorter. If you wanted to just do the chassis part and you know have your own conveyor belt, you don't even have to elevate it. You can just keep it you know horizontal if you want. So it's just one of those neat projects. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missing Lego Robotics. I'm out. Say what? He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.